Hi guys, today we will going to discuss regarding Bluetooth Low Energy Advertising and we will going to see uh, what are the advertisements, uh, kind of advertisements and how you can make your own beacon. So guys, first of all what is a beacon? So beacon is basically a concept of broadcasting some kind of information uh, which is useful and that information can be uh, data from a sensor or it could be like you can uh, only detect the power and through power you can detect the direction or how far it is so these are few applications ranging from ambient data and temperature air pressure humidity so forth and micro location like you can locate as per the receive signal strength and orientation data and you can integrate various sensors uh, properties so guys this data uh, which beacon advertises can be dynamic or static or it can be changed over time and there are like in bluetooth low energy you can make beacon which can last for years on a single cell so guys these are the applications shopping mall where they are used for location for environmental sensing so guys let's understand beacon so beacon we have two types of advertisement one is manufacturing specific or there is advertisement specific so on basis of these we have two kinds of beacon so on right hand side we have advertisement specific and left hand side we have manufacturing specific in these they are categorized uh, like i beacon alt beacon and your custom your own beacon uh, comes under manufacturing specific and advertisement specific are google ones like google id stone uri and in id stone it can be telemetry and uid so how beacon works and how actually advertisement and scanning works in BLE so guys first of all uh, this data which we call an advertisement data is actually a scan response data uh, if you see picture over here there are two things one is peripheral another is central device central is like your phone so your peripheral device will going to advertise normally its mac id or its name and when peri uh, like central device will request will going to request a scan request special scan response request so your device will going to direct or indirect direct indirect means you can have tagging on your uh, advertisement data like it is specific to this device so your scan response will be specific to your device or it could be generic so your central device will going to scan and in response of scanning your peripheral device peripheral is like you can have your sen uh, like environmental sensing uh, data or it could be like anything so in return of that it advertise its data or a special scanning uh, like scan response packet it can give so uh, BLE scan response is a packet that is sent by advertising device as I told you peripheral upon the reception of scanning request uh, and central device can scan request to advertising device in order to get additional user through the scan response advertising packet and scan response shares the same format and they are transmitted over the same three physical channels so guys uh, as you know from my previous video bluetooth low energy has a uh, three advertisement channels so you can choose uh, on your own configurations like you want to advertise on both or like all of them or on single as per your application now let's get started so this is a generic structure advertisement PDU if you see here so guys advertisement comes under gap it is a generic assess profile so all kind of advertisements scan response beacon everything comes under gap 
so this is a 31 bytes of PDU uh, this is very much specific to Bluetooth 4.2 uh, like Bluetooth 5 has a bit different packet structure it has a extended packet length and if you see here the gap broadcast must contain the flag uh, which tells about the advertisement we are sending uh, like we have some flags in our advertisement those flags tells about the capability of the device like device is having a EDR enhanced data rate or it is able to connect or it is not connectable like these kind of few information can be generated from flag so flag structure uses three bytes uh, in total of one of data length and one of data type another is data itself so it is like very much generic all BLE like it is uh, common for all BLE if you see here so this is how you get PDU and then it is further divided flags and all those things and in last you get around 26 bytes of data so this is the pure data which you can send as per your information so so next is manufacturing specific so guys manufacturing specific so in these like it is specific to some particular manufacturers like all manufacturers are not generic like ibeacon or Edistone or google these are few generic ones so it could be like another some other company which is part of sig or yeah which is having some license of bluetooth so they get a specific manufacturer id so they can use their own manufacturing id uh, when they advertise so if, if you see here uh, manufacturing specific is also very similar to adver advertisement specific first we have flags then we have manufacturing specific data so flag data is also very generic like three bytes of data one is length other is type and third one is data then we have header header tells about the uh, type of uh, type of data we have and uh, it could be uh, like you can have your own types and you have date uh, length also then you have 26 bytes of data left so in advertisement structure packet uh, we have all these things so uh, below here like I have mentioned bit 0 1 2 3 4 these are few bits like which tells about the capability of advertisement device so you can uh, use these bits and you can uh, generate uh, the own specification in advertisement okay so let's come to iBeacon so guys iBeacon uh, this is the packet structure of iBeacon iBeacon is a manufacturing specific beacon so as per the manufacturing specific they have advertisement flags then they got some advertisement headers so it is very much specific to iBeacon there is a company ID this is a UUID which is very much specific to Apple so this is how uh, in scanning it is uh, detected like it is iBeacon or not this is a beacon type so this is like 12 it means it is iBeacon then we have a iBeacon length so this is a data length so it is very much like uh, it is common like it is fixed you cannot change it although you can limit the data it will automatically detect it so next we have UUID UUID is your information then you have major and minor so guys uh, if you have multiple beacons so these are uh, two things major and minor uh, that can be used to distinguish like you can have a group of beacon of major and you can have multiple minors so this is how you can have a uh, you can categorize groups using major or minor in beacon so next we have a ALT beacon so guys ALT beacon was proposed just for um, location tracking and all those purpose and it is like very much common to like it is very much similar to I beacon just we have a ID that that is called a beacon ID 
uh, for i beacon it was uh, 004c and for alt beacon it is fff so these are common and in alt beacon we don't have major and minor we directly have a beacon id and uh, we have uh, last packet uh, like one byte for rsi then we have one byte for reserve manufacture reserved so this is how it is different it, do, it does not have any a uh, major minor kind of a thing to distinguish the beacon and it also has a beacon code and manufacturing id so this is a that id ff uh, beacon id this is a addiston beacon in this we have a like these are three types of beacon basically addiston uh, first is uuid url and telemetry so although their front end like flags or uh, services uh, in advertisement are same but their frame structure is quite different guys over here you can see so uh, starting of packet it is having uh, some flags and then we have some services so these are few uh, UUID although you can say AFE uh, just it is proposed like it is different as it is a advertisement specific so they are here telling it is as a service so then we have a length then we have a type so and then we have a UUID again so then we have a frame so this frame is categorized into three three things guys over here you can see so over here you can see so this is a UUID UUID is just like your namespace or instance ID some kind of ID you want to advertise so in this we have one byte for the type and one byte for the power then we have 10 bytes for the namespace then 6 bytes for the instance then we have a URL which is, which is quite uh, famous URL in this uh, you have frame type tx power then you have a url scheme like www http and https and then you have a url your major data so this is quite interesting then we have a telemetry type so guys in telemetry it is like you want to measure voltage temperature or kind of a metering data so then you gonna use telemetry so in this similar to above we have frame then we have a version then we have a battery voltage so two bytes and then we have a temperature data and advertisement pdu count since boot so this is like how much time it is been and like how much time it is been advertising for how much time then we have a time since boot so it is incrementing so guys uh, now we are going to see a demonstration on ESP32 uh, how you can create uh, every possible kind of beacon of your own so first you guys need to install a app a beacon simulator this is on play store so you can download it so you can open it and you can scan it all the way around this is a very nice app first of all guys this app is capable of uh, showing you or like you can say you can scan all types of blue BLE devices and also you can simulate uh, every kind of possible beacon where you can see and this is a very nice app this is quite handy although this app doesn't support any connection you cannot connect to a device you can only see it so this is the only limitation of this app but this is very nice I always use this app for advertising or beacon purposes this is very nice so let's start with scanning so guys uh, this is a comport of Arduino I have developed a code in using this code you can create uh, every possible beacon so over here you can see first uh, I have a normal device advertise in this uh, our ESP32 so over here guys we are using ESP32 so it will going to advertise its name and where we have a manufacturing specific so you can create your own manufacturing specific 
and we have an i beacon the nail t addstone url and uid so let's get started first type it as 0 so i need to enter the device name so let's enter demo so over there you can see a uh, device appears as a name demo there you can see uh, let's try the manufacturing specific so in this first we need to enter the manufacturing specific id so let's enter 1 2 3 4 then we have to enter the data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there you can see the device appears uh, so it got a name demo so it's just an instance uh, from it cache like uh, if some bluetooth device is having the same mac address so it saves its name although it is not in the information it is not actually advertising it but uh, this app is fetching from it cache so if we enter it you can see the data so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is very nice so next uh, I want to give you a demonstration of a manufacturing specific one so uh, I know manufacturing specific ID of ST microelectronics it is 0030 okay guys then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so over here you can see ST microelectronics so guys these are the uh, like you can say SIG members which have their uh, specific manufacturing ID registered with Bluetooth so they are by default in the Android API get uh, like detected as a standard ones so here you can see STMAC electronics if you enter it so the name is STMAC electronics and you can find others manufacturing ID on Bluetooth SIG app so let's start with iBeacon so why we can 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and there you can see AI beacon appear with UUID 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next try with the LT beacon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 again so a beacon with manufacturing specific FFF this is a UUID of a ALT beacon let's get started with Eddystone so Eddystone is the advertisement specific so we need to enter URL data let's enter demo.com you can see over there in the phone app let's try Eddystone UID so in UID first there is a namespace 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in instance we can add 1 2 3 4 so in app you can see so this was the demonstration so over here I have shown you every possible kind of advertisement uh, Bluetooth can uh, support like what are the possible types of beacon normal device advertisements and all those things so guys stay tuned for my next videos in my next video I will going to show you how you can create your CAC sticks uh, services and how you can get connected and uh, how you can uh, like you can make your own GAT database so thank you thank you guys thank you for the watching thank you for the watching